Welcome back to the Mobility Project. Just got back from the CrossFit Games, decided to push on seven hours straight in the car, give or take a uh, you know, quick stop in the you know, protein style, you know, double-double. But uh, I've just been sitting for seven hours. I can't, can't get around that. I'm the driver, and I feel tacked down. It's 1.30 in the morning, my time, and this is the things I'm going to do before I go to bed. If I just go to bed stiff, I'm going to wake up feeling like ass. I'm going to feel stiff, I'm going to have to, you know, not be able to recover these tissues. So what we're going to do is instead of just attacking this with a ball, what I'm going to go ahead and do is think about kind of using our flossing concept, which is about biasing a joint into a good position, an optimal position, and then just working on the tissue stiffness around that position. So I'm going to wind that hip up tight, specifically for me, my kind of personal go when I sit is my hamstring starts to get just buggy. I, you know, I squeeze my butt in the car, I try to activate my abs, and I just can't undo this. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and grab the band first. I'm just going to work on some hip flexion. Work on getting this thing back into where it should be moving. And I'll tell you what, a test retest on this thing is ugly. And uh, you can do a straight leg raise, you can squat, but it's 1.30 in the morning and i got to get some work done. Here's three ideas to recover your tissues after sitting in the car. I'm going to put this thing right in my hip crease here, I'm going to fold forward, and I'm just going to floss to end range. And I have a hard time being able to get that leg straight. And I'm just going to touch that resistance, and I'm just going to look for different rays and different corners. I'm going to push over that hip, try to kind of hit that lateral hip, and I might just floss here until I feel like I've made some change, I start to go numb, something feels weird and tingly, or until I get bored or I finally need to go to sleep because my wife's getting pissed and it's 1.30 in the morning making mobility videos. So I'm just going to hang out and just floss back and forth here. I just touch resistance, come out. Don't stretch your sciatic nerve. Just touch resistance, come out. The idea is to get that hamstring, all those hamstrings and all those posterior tissues opening up. So just floss it and out. Lots of band tension here, idealizing that posterior hip position. Remember, your hip cannot go to the back of the socket by itself. Just look at anyone's writing about this. Jean-Claude West, um, all of the Peter Goscu, all of these guys realize you can't get that hip back. We're going to use that band. So now, it's starting to really let go. And it'll just be, maybe it takes two minutes, maybe it takes three minutes. But I just want you to oscillate back and forth until you make change. Remember, you should be easily be able to kind of fold forward. If you see a different side to side here, good Lord. And that's just two minutes. And now, when I go lift heavy tomorrow, because I'm so inspired by the likes of Annie Tor's daughter and Rich uh, Froney, that uh, I'm going to be ready to go. So that's one idea. The second piece is we're going to do it the opposite direction and really hit that hip flexor. So the key is to squeeze my bum. We've been talking about this a lot lately. And I'm just going to press into extension here. Squeeze my butt, press into extension. It's the movement that I'm after. I'm trying to build big stiffness in the tissue, protect the back, protect the joint, and then I'm just going to press forward. I can add a little lateral movement there. We're going to talk about this tomorrow. But I can just open up that hip, open up that side. Again, stay here until you make enough change to actually feel something. You'll feel these different diagonals, these different rays, really kind of end up being feeling very differently. This feels like it's hip flexor. This feels like it's pectineus and psoas. You get the idea. Stay there. Third, just do a little extension. Oh, man, I've been sitting in the car. I'm trying to sit up. But, oh, crack, crack, crack. Oh, hit the ribs. Put your arm over your head and just hit a minute on this. Kind of just think about gross quick mobilization before you jump in the 170 degree hot tub because I know you've got one. Oh, and just open up a little bit, especially that low thoracic spine where it kind of intersects into your lumbar. Oh, three ideas. Suddenly, wow, you know what? I feel better. Maybe I'll uh, PR tomorrow. See you tomorrow.